Washington Senator Maria Cantwell, a Democrat. Senator, thanks so much for being here. You tweeted earlier calling this a sad and tragic day in America. I'm curious specifically about your reaction to the reasoning laid out by the majority opinion of the Supreme Court for this uh, decision here. Well, it may be a decision by the majority of the justices on the Supreme Court, but it is a minority view of people in the United States of America. 70% of Americans believe in this right to privacy, that women should be able to make their own health care decisions with their family and their doctors, and they've counted on this for 50 years. And many of these same justices have said they thought it was settled law. So I think Americans are waking up to a shockwave today that somehow their rights are being overturned. We know that our, our most recent poll said two-thirds of Americans did not want Roe v. Wade overturned. Senator, the president is now calling on Congress to enact federal protections for abortion rights to codify Roe v. Wade. But is there any realistic path forward on that happening? Well, we know, as in various states of the country, that this is going to be an all-out effort to make sure that women's health care rights are protected and that government intrusion into their personal life is not going to happen. So it may end up being state by state. It may be at the federal level. We will be able to be successful with the right people here. But this issue about the government going too far to intrude into your personal life and make personal health care decisions for you or try to criminalize your behavior has got to, uh, we have to fight back against this decision. I know that you uh, previously said that you would be uh, willing to get rid of the filibuster in order to secure voting rights. Would you still be willing to do that on this issue, even though it could mean if Democrats were to lose power come November, that Republicans could pass a federal ban on abortion? I feel strongly about anything that is upholding our constitutional rights. You cannot have a minority of people in Congress or a minority of people uh, control, try to control the rights of the majority as it relates to things that are protected in the Constitution. And so our federal responsibility is to uphold voting rights. Our federal responsibility is to fight for those privacy rights that have been bestowed for 50 years and have been part of our health care delivery system. So these are rights that I would fight every avenue to uphold. Does that mean you'd be willing to expand the Supreme Court as yes. well? Oh, well, we would, we certainly believe that the Supreme Court, as I said, maybe a majority of them made this decision, but it's in uh, only a minority of Americans agree with it. So I think we're going to have to continue to see what avenues that we can have to make sure that these rights are protected in the future. Now, uh, there'll be lots of discussions about uh, this court decision, but this court is indicating that they might go even further. And so we, in overturning uh, contraception or other things that have been uh, protected as personal rights for individuals, so we will have to look at and see what we can do to make sure that these rights are protected. On that subject, uh, Senator, we heard earlier from your state's governor, Jay Inslee, speaking alongside Oregon Governor Kate Brown, California's Governor Gavin Newsom, all promising that they were going to protect reproductive rights. What specific actions would you like to see at the state or federal level in response to this ruling? Well, right now, in my state, we're a border state with Idaho. I have health care officials in Spokane worried about their actions being criminalized. They've seen a 60% increase in women traveling to Spokane to get their reproductive health care taken care of. But these officials are saying, am I going to be prosecuted under this new law? Are you going to take action against me? Can we even still continue to serve people who need access to health care? So it is putting a very chilling effect on our entire health care delivery system. I want patients to be able to see their doctor. I want women to be able to get the advice from their doctor about their reproductive choices. And I want to make sure that we are fighting to help our health care system continue to deliver health care. I think it's likely that this issue has now rocketed up to the top of issues concerning voters on both sides of abortion rights. What's your message to voters as we head to the upcoming midterms? And do you think this might galvanize your support? The government should stay out of your bedroom. The government should stay out of your health care decisions with you and your doctor and your family. 
This is an intrusion to your privacy and no place for the government. And I hope that people will help us fight for these rights so that the government doesn't go even further in intruding on our personal rights and that these are rights that we believe are in the Constitution. Washington Senator Maria Cantwell, thanks so much for your time tonight. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.